But I think for us, uh, more of a concern than our well-being, that we have grandkids. And our kids. And our young, kids that are young. still having their own kids. That... So that, that weighs on our minds quite a bit. Uh -huh. You know, we have a two-year-old, a three-year-old grandchild, and then our, yeah. our kids in their early in 30s, late 20s. Old. And the three-month-old. So yeah, that, that's the big concern. You know, we, we want to be able to raise our kids and be healthy, but will it make us sick in other ways? None of the vaccines are currently approved for children under 16. The Pfizer vaccine, I believe you can get at 16, Moderna and Johnson and Johnson at 18. And that's what always happens with drugs and vaccines. You know, we, we sort of, first of all, do all the tests in adults, make sure it's safe in adults, and then we do the tests in children. So it's just, this is the normal way things roll out. So clinical trials are now being started with children. Um, and I think we'll have the data from those in, you know, sort of three to six months. And then I'm sure that the vaccines will then also be authorized for children. And I know there are a lot of parents who are very anxious to also get their children vaccinated. If mRNA technology is new, is it going to affect fertility? Is it going to do something to our DNA? Uh, you mentioned that you want your kids to get vaccinated. Do, do you still expect to have grandchildren? There is absolutely no reason to think that any of these vaccines will do anything to impact people's fertility. Vaccines don't do that. Even RNA vaccines, sure, they're new. And RNA is part of the uh, process of how we manage genetic information in our bodies. You could actually argue RNA is an incredibly natural thing. We are full of RNA. Um, and again, you know, this little beast, the coronavirus, this is full of RNA, you know? So nobody would say to me, if I get infected with the coronavirus, well, the coronavirus RNA that is in my body, that is replicating in my body, is that gonna affect my fertility? There is nothing in, in these vaccines at all that would um, lead us to, to think that. Now, for for people who are pregnant, um, it's a little like the situation with children. You know, the initial clinical trials are done with healthy, non-pregnant people. And then subsequently, clinical trials will be done with, with pregnant people and with children. You know, it's like we do, we do you know, uh, the, the first group of non-pregnant, non-pregnant uh, non adults first. Um, but certainly, you know, doctors may well recommend to any pregnant patients they have that they get vaccinated because the risk of a COVID infection if you're, if you're pregnant is actually quite high and you don't want to get COVID. You don't want to risk your baby getting COVID. You don't want to risk the, uh, you know, the problems that you might encounter um, getting it. So it's a decision. And, and I, I would, you know, I've had a couple of friends now who are pregnant and I say, talk, talk to your doctor about that. that that's really you know, a, a good conversation to have. But certainly pregnant people have had this vaccine in, in the initial trials, you know, like anything in life, people got vaccinated at the same time they got pregnant, oops, you know. Um, and there have been no, um, nothing that wasn't exactly the same in the vaccinated and non-vaccinated groups in, in terms of how those pregnancies um, developed.